Good afternoon everyone, this is Coach AM checking in live from Decap Coffee Republic, the home of certified life coaches here in the Philippines and soon to be globally. I am Coach A, I'm the Master Coach A here from the Philippines. I am the global partner of the Life Coach Training Institute that is based in Dallas, Texas, USA. I am the program facilitator for those of you who are really looking into becoming a certified life coach here and in a very near, near future, I invite you to come and visit us here at Decap Coffee Republic where I conduct uh, regular certification classes and to all of you joining me for the first time just in case it's the first time you're seeing me you're meeting me I am coach a once again and I help help people go back to life of freedom control and joy I also help uh, life coaches so all across the globe if you are a life coach right now whether certified or a naturally gifted coach right now who's practicing coaching um, either in the workplace in the ministry or in the organizations that you belong um, I help people really 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 okay real through it okay it is not it's no bullshit no no uh, marketing um uh, sugar coating. I help coaches really come into realizations of their full potential as a life coach who can really facilitate change, who can really facilitate improvements, who can really facilitate transformations in people's lives. Okay, so again, for those of you who are not familiar of what we do as a life coach, as a life coach, we are not giving you advice we are not doing mentoring we are not even doing consulting for you what we do as a life coach is we believe that you yourself have the greatest possibility potentials and capability to sort out things inside of you and okay definitely if there's anything that causes you to be stuck in life if there's anything that's causing you right now to be immobile because of the previous decisions that you have done in your life then life coaches really is a professional choice for you to get help okay i know that many of us normally go to people in the house people in the organizations people in the workplace or maybe people in the church for help especially if we're going through challenges um, troubles in life but really there are points in our lives there are seasons in our lives where professional help is needed and the best choice that i can offer to you is really to work with a life coach and if you are interested life coaching if you want to know more about our profession, if you want to understand what we do, or you simply want to experience exactly life coaching, I invite you to come over at Pickup Coffee Republic. This is our home here in the Philippines, and as I said, soon to be globally. So if you are interested to be a life coach or you're interested to become okay part of our growing tribe, just visit us or dial 0917586661 for more information. But for this afternoon, you're joining me for Monday. So this is Coach A for Monday. Okay, this is a Monday afternoon. I have coaches in the house who's joining me. Okay, and if you are a life coach out there, okay, whether you are certified by the Life Coach Training Institute or you are a life coach being certified by other institutions um, online and off um, face to face, if you are those um, kababayan namin who really got into the profession of uh, gaining. Uh, professional knowledge or skills and techniques from online courses you are welcome okay so the life coach training institutes obviously uh, definitely by default our priority is to provide service to provide support and to nurture the graduates and the certified life coaches of the, the, the life coach training institute but if you are being certified if you are being um, educated or if you learn um, life coaching from other institutes especially if you learn it online then you are welcome you are welcome in the life of the life coach training institute um, you are welcome to be part of our tribe you are welcome to see us and you are welcome to partake of whatever we are doing right now to advance life coaching here in the philippines so for this afternoon okay this is um, monday with coach a i'm gonna walk you through okay i'm gonna i'd like to discuss um, something that i believe many of us in the profession um can relate many of us in the professions can really say I am that okay so many of us struggles to to understand how really to put into our years of experience our years of knowledge our years of skill sets you know those things that you have learned before 
it is a struggle, it is a challenge, and many of us is stuck in the in the position we're in. How do we offer? How do I give? How do I show? How do I serve my clientele? How do I serve the people whom I'd like to, to connect with, with my years of experience and with my years of skill sets or my years of training okay if that is you and if you're watching right now um even on a replay hashtag replay or if you're watching with me right now online okay i would encourage you to put your comment okay and if that's something that uh, it, it is something that you can connect so hashtag connect you can just say i can connect coach and i want to learn more okay my objective for this afternoon is really to make you understand that going through life coaching is a lot of hard work, a lot of toiling, a lot of sacrifices, a lot of time, and a lot of efforts on your part, okay? It's never easy, although many would say um, it's easy to become a life coach. You get certification online. You get certification face-to-face. -face. Um, some of you would say experience can make you a life coach, which I would agree, okay? I would totally agree because while certi life uh, getting certified is the most responsible thing to do if you want to start coaching, you don't even have to get certified to start coaching. Many of us are naturally gifted coaches and like myself, even before I become a life coach, I've been coaching in the church. Right? I've been doing this for over 12 years of my life and so um, you don't need really to be certified but we encourage people to get certified because that is the most responsible thing to do. But let's say you are already certified. Or maybe you are in a season of your life that you are thinking, yeah, sure, I want to get certified and I want to do life coaching full time. But where do I start and how do I go about it? Is that you? If that is you, then put a comment below and say, that's me. Okay. By the way, if you are watching this in a replay and you wanted to connect with me, you can connect with Coach A. You can connect with Adet Purto. You can even connect with Life Coach Philippines and send us a message and let us know how else and how more. Um, we can help you, how we can further assist you in the practice of your profession. So every Monday, okay, um, I'm committing myself, I'm giving my time, okay, I'm really making this moment to share what I have been doing over a year of practicing as a life coach, personal uh, personal coaching, group coaching, and I also do certification classes. So what I want to do every Monday is to meet with you, okay, every 4 o'clock, if Prayerfully, I could make it, but definitely on a Monday, I want to give at least one hour of my time to help you understand the profession and to help you really become the life coach whom you always wanted to become. So today, this afternoon, um, my topic is how to productize your coaching business. So, so yung mga nandito sa floor, have you ever heard of productize? <laughs> Narinig nyo na ba yun? Okay, for those of you, oh, may kasama po ako, I have life coaches in the house. Okay, bahay po talaga namin to. O, oh, hindi naman bawal po malak pa. Okay, so I have the, I have coach A, uh, si Coach Ed, oh, Saan si Ao? Ao, ano? Kailan ka pa sasama sa amin? <laughs> Malabit na soon. Okay, I have Coach Janet. I have Coach Rizel. Hi, Coach Candy. Of course, our coaching couple, Coach Sean and Coaching, just arrived. Okay, and for those, my spouse is also here, Coach Danny. So, for those, Coach Mel, I know you're gonna be watching Coach um, Kay Sabala from Tacloban. No? I'll see you on Friday. Kanina sabi ni Coach Kay, uh, Coach, lipad ka dito, dito ka mag-live. O, ba? <laughs> okay. How to productize your coaching business for more freedom, fun, and fortune. Do you want that? Okay, but let's begin. What does it mean? Hi, Pastor Alan. Hi, Coach Alan. Okay, so what does it really mean to productize your coaching business? For those of you who's hearing this for the first time, for those of you who don't understand what is productize, okay, productize or productizing means, okay, that we gonna be putting your years of service, your years of experience, your years of learning, we're gonna put all your assets, mental assets, emotional assets, okay, physical assets, okay, di ba kailangan presentable naman ng mga coaches, okay, we're gonna put everything that you have and put it in a product in such a way that you can serve your clients, you can serve the people you want to reach in a way that is tangible, in a way that is understandable, in a way that you can present it and offer it to them that they clearly understand what are you offering. Okay, if you are a life coach, I believe you can connect with me coaches that people don't understand what we do. 
right? People don't understand. Like life coach, life coach what? Coach what? Okay, many people would say coach is associated with sports. All right. So one of the um, I, I did life coaching 101 class in Cebu, and I, I got a very good response. One of our, my one of my students said, um, life coaching is simply having a coach in life. And if you want to win in life, you need to have a life coach because. In any battle, in any games, in any sports, if you want to win, you need a, you need a, a coach. So she said, so in life, if you want to win, then have a coach. All right. So I believe it's easier to me as a coach, it's easier to make a person accept our service. Okay. If the person, the client or the market understands exactly what we do. Now, this is my common observation okay this is something that i observe to many coaches okay many of us simply because we are so excited after certification many of us are so pumped up okay so beep up after uh, certifications we wanna serve all okay sino ang guilty as charged right Okay, so many of us would say, I want to serve all, I want to help all, okay, I want to help everyone, anyone, everybody, da da da, and all it is. Okay, hear it from me, okay. <laughs> Before I become a life coach, I've been in the corporate world for over two decades, okay, I've been in IT, okay, the number one um, growing industry in the whole world, life coaching is just second, so I've been in that industry, I've been in sales, I've been in marketing, I've been in the business development. Now, one thing that I will tell you and hold this as true, okay, if you serve anyone and everyone, okay, in the market field, you are kissing death. Okay? As a life coach, as a, a service provider, even if it's not life coaching, okay, as a service provider, if your intention is to serve everyone and anyone, then you're not gonna make it. It's very, very detrimental. Hear it from me. Because I believe you all also you also heard, heard this, okay? Jack of all trades, master of nothing. Okay, now let me ask you, coaches. Let me ask you a question. All of you on the floor, okay? If you are given a choice, okay, to hire someone who is a jack of all trades and a master of none and to hire someone for a little more value in money, a little more investment, but a master of something, who will you hire? Specific, okay. Who among you here have experienced having something painted? A house, a room, an office, all right. Anybody can paint, right? So if I am a painter, I would advertise, I can paint anything and everything in your house, including your face. Okay, good marketing. Uh-huh. Let's take another person says, specifically, I will make your backyard as fresh as if you are living in the rural, even if you are in the urban. How's that? If I, I'm a painter and I promise that I can convert your house, okay, into something that you desire, okay, I can make your house through my painting works a little bigger in, in an ambiance, would you hire me or would you hire somebody who's promising I can paint anything and everything under the sun? Who will you hire? Obviously, you will agree with me that you would like to work with a master. You would like to work with someone with expertise. You would like to work with someone who's who exactly good at doing. So, if you are now the service provider, let's turn the table. You are now the life coach. Which is better? Serve everyone or serve the market whom you love and you believe you can truly serve from your heart? I know, Sagot. Truly love, truly like, you are interested, you are happy to work with. So if that is the answer, why is it that you are all over the place? 
boom. Okay? Many of us would always, how do I start? Where do I start? Okay, what do I sell? How do I write proposal? How do I promote myself? How do, my question. Who is your market? What is your market? What is the avatar of your market? Yes, I'm going to be talking about productizing your skills, your talent, your experience, everything that you know, your assets, your talents right now. But my question is, before I can productize that, I'm a business development person once in my life, so I can develop exactly, if you have anything right now there, I can develop a program for you. I can create a program for you. If you are a life coach and you need help, then Coach A, I can help you. But again, the question is, who is your market? What is the avatar of your market? Can you close your eyes and really picture who is your market? Specific. As specific as you can. What is, what is the pain point or points of your client? How do they feel right now? Where do you find them? Like, maybe the clients you want to reach, they're not in Facebook. Maybe the clients that you want to reach never touch Facebook gadgets i don't know we'll never know but the question is who do you want to reach who do you want to serve who do you want to give your product that's the hardest that's the hardest thing and that's an all all together a different topic but i want you to understand that even if I'm going to be talking about productizing your, your, your service today, productizing your coaching business, it will not work, okay? It will not do really the maximum, it will not give you the maximum potential if you don't know your market. So coaches in the house, if you are joining me today, and if you're joining me online, okay, I want to really challenge you to really search inside of your heart who is your market? How does your market look like? You know, to me, the best market is someone. Oh, I have Coach Mix on, online. Okay. When I got certified, one of the first things I realized was to select with potential clients. I like what he said. He said, who to exclude, who not to serve. I think that's what he's saying. All right. So, Coach Joy said, serve the market him you love. Yes. And who the market, who is the market that you love? Tell me. You might have a big heart. And you say, my market is the Philippines. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Coach Mel and Nordeline, hello. Okay. You might have a big heart and say, my market is the whole world. You're not getting it. One thing that I've learned through the years, and I've been teaching my students, is to close your eyes really and identify three great things that you have just three not four not five just three great things i've been teaching this to my students in public speaking think of three things that you are so good at you're talented you're skilled and it's like you you're gonna love doing it okay so coaching set aside okay you're good already if you're a life coach i'm sure you're you're perfecting yourself as a life coach but what is it really that you love to do you can do magnificently you can do wonderfully give me three things think about three things okay and then think about of a person who will be needing that three things that you are so good at just a person, not a people, not a tribe, not a family, just one person. Even right now, you might be out there, I might be talking to hundreds, I might be talking to thousands, I might be talking to a few online, but one thing I know, out there, there is at least one person who needs me right now. I believe there is one person right now, right here as I talk, one person who is practically stuck, okay? Not one, not knowing what to do. Stuck in figuring out what's next in my coaching business. What's next in my coaching profession. So I believe there's one person. So close your eyes. What are the three things that you're so good at doing? And really connect with just one person whom you think, okay, that three things can be a great help. Okay. So 
I can talk more of that. That's a separate topic, finding your market, building your market. But all I wanted to take off from today is that understanding your market, knowing your market, loving your market is the first step. No shortcut. I've seen this. I've seen this with many coaches who are very excited. I've seen this with many coaches who want to fish all over the globe. I've seen this with life coaches who just keep advertising and sending different messages. Um, that's not the way to do it. Get one market. Get a niche. You, you know what? In even in my case, uh, next week um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you this. Next Monday I'm gonna be talking about going going live on Facebook, how you do what I do, okay? So I'm going to share with you my experiences, how to do exactly what I'm doing. But let me tell you, when I started over two years ago, when I started doing Facebook Live, I do Facebook Live twice a week, Tuesday and Thursday here at Peak of Copy Republic. When I started doing my Facebook Live over two years ago, I would have Facebook Live that would reach 40,000. I would have 25,000. For many that would say, that's great, push it, make it a million. But I took a different path, and what I did, okay, is really to really stream, stream down, trim down my market. Now if I go live, I'll have few thousands, okay, few hundreds, really very, very, very um, intimate market. But I know my market, I know what they want, I know how to connect with them. And many of the people who come um, get my service and enroll and be part of our growing tribe of certified life coaches. Actually, they're part of my viewers regularly. Okay, so if you want a sustainable market, if you want a sustainable client base, you got to be very sure who are the people you would like to serve all right so now productizing your skills your talent your experience may seem simple true but when you implement it it can be complex when you are not so sure of the market segment that you are serving okay when productizing you have to be very honest with yourself. What are you really good at? And what are the things that challenge you? Okay? What are you really good at? And what are the things that challenges you? Okay? Because the things that challenges you, some of them may be part, some of them may you're, you may opt to get someone to do it, but some of them you still have to do it, you still have to perform it, so you have to be um, concerned about it. You have to put actions in it. At least you know what are the things that you, you're not so good at, but you still need to do. Another thing that you have to understand, that in productizing your, your talent, your skills, your experience, not only do you consider your gifts, your talents, your assets, your pool of great things, you also have to understand and consider the dark side of it. All right? So I have one client. Um, she said she's good at conversation and she's good at negotiation. But the dark side of being good at conversation is compromising. She tends to compromise because she knew that anything happens, she is good at negotiation, she can maneuver it later on. So you, when you start working and really trying to understand your market and the products that you will serve, be sure you also know the dark side of your gifts. Alright? So, all of us dream of growing our business, coaching business. All of us? Yes. I myself. Yes. But how many of you have faced rejection? Hey, hey, hey. Okay. How many of you experience you're there, you're excited, you want to help people and say like, ah, okay, I'll call you when I'm ready. But you know the person really needs you. Yes. All right. And 
how many of you experienced that even before you get to offer your service, the person said, I don't have money. I don't have a budget. I can't pay you. All right? So how many of you are tired of it? Hindi pa naman daw. So bago ka mapagod, let's talk about it. Now, let's begin with clearly understanding how you can monetize your coaching products. Ready? Okay. Many people have heard, hearing, have heard and hearing and looking forward, always writing a book or an e-book. Is that you? If that's you, give me a comment down there and say that's me. Okay. Most of recently, many coaches started writing a book, would start writing a book or an e-book, and they would publicize the book, okay? They would sell the book. Now, hear me out on this. What is the chances and the possibility and the probability that your target market, all of your target market, is a reader? So what if they don't read? What if they buy books and read the cover and the back cover? And that's it. Okay? So, common. Common way. So, okay. <laughs> Many people would say that the common practice of life coaching is one-on-one -on -one practice. No, actually, it's not. Okay? Recently, okay, many coaches, okay, would hide behind the pen. Okay? And would write their thoughts. Okay? would create a book or we create an ebook. Okay. Hear me out on this. If you write a you write a book, salute. Okay. But be sure you're a writer, you're an author. Be sure. Be, be sure it's you. Be sure you're writing it because that's you. Be sure that you're writing it because you can clearly communicate. Okay. Clearly you can reach your market. Remember that the the objective here, when you productize your coaching business or your coaching services, is that you're reaching your market and you're making your market sustainable. You know, honestly, when I started my, my coaching practice, all I needed and all I dream, and I'm teaching this to my students, is really to work on 10 raving fans. I just need... I just want 10 people, all right? Just 10. 10 people who will believe in me, who will really buy my products, who would say, yeah, that's it. That's Coach A. And she can do that. She's changed my life. I just focus on, really prayed on, work on my skills, my talents, on how I can reach 10 people who will be my solid fans. Do you know that Celebrity, okay, the reason why they're celebrity because they have fans. Now, some fans come and go. Some fans, and then later on, they're your bushers. Go for a market who will be your raving fans. Fans, as in whatever you see, whatever you buy, whatever you endorse, whatever you do, they believe in you. And how do you create the raving fans? They know it's you. Just be who you are. Yeah. With all your flaws, with all your vulnerabilities, um, with all your pimples, if you have, for all you know, some of your clients would love people with pimples and they don't like the one with flawless. Just be who you are and just work on 10 people. I started my, my, my profession. I only have in mind to reach 10 people. So, can you reach 10 people? Okay. Like when you're writing the book. Can you imagine 10 people reading your book and that person will be talking to the whole office and sharing your book? Can you imagine one person reading, reading your book and sharing your book to the whole church? Can you imagine one person reading your book and sharing it to the whole school? Can you imagine that person reading that book and turning to become your raging 
raving fans. Okay? So if you're good at writing, you can communicate your coaching skills, you can communicate your coaching knowledge through books, then go ahead, write. All right? Next, ebook. Okay? So some of us goes printed, some of us goes um, electronic now. The most, okay, the most effective and, you know, probably best known use of your ebook, okay? Best known, okay, that I would say best known is normally this is where you see it. People, okay, give away ebooks, okay. But the question there is, why do you give ebooks? What is the next? Okay, so you give away ebooks. So, what do you expect your client to do, okay, your potential client to do after reading your ebook? What? All right? Do you expect them to connect with you? Do you expect them to like your page? Do you like uh, do you expect them to visit your website? What do you expect your client, your reader to do, your potential client, your reader of the ebook, okay, to do? Okay? I have a, I have a friend. Um he said he doesn't he's not a believer of free book ebook. He's not a believer of that. And he said, he read it somewhere that a market that is free will always be free. They will never buy it, okay? But I have a different take on this. My take is you can give an e-book, okay, as long as you are very, very clear what is the next step for your potential client, for your potential market, then go ahead. But I think the problem is after reading the book and the ebook, what do you expect your clients to do? Okay? Next. If you are not yet ready to do a book or an ebook, which for many of us would be challenging, you know what's the next thing that you can do, which I believe is easier? Do a workbook. Workbooks. Yeah. You know, not coloring book. Okay, of course, if you can do coloring book, then go ahead. Okay, Coach Candy is there. Yeah. Coach Christina. Okay, Coach is saying, okay, thank you. Yes, being authentic. Yes. Okay, I don't, I want, I've been in my practice for over a year, almost two years, and really what I've learn in my practice is just being true i don't have multiple self i don't have multiple personality i don't have a multiple face okay i am the nanai that i am the mother the chairman of the board i am the i i am who i am i think there's only one coach a so uh, keep it up okay coach man uh, i have a part of i have part my idea of publishing a book i know that coach man and i've read a beautiful book okay the question there is after publishing the book, what's next? After releasing the ebook, what's next? Okay? Workbooks. How many of you have experience doing crossword puzzle in the past? Crossword? Anyone? Or oh, bingo? Sino nag bingo? <laughs> bingo! Alright. Or fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks, right? Connect the dots. <laughs> Goes with the age. Yeah, connect the dots. Okay. Workbooks is no different to that. Every day of your life, you get to learn as a coach how to do things, how to maneuver things, and you can turn it to a workbook. You can have like 50 pages of that, circulate it and at least your client potential client will get to understand by the way if you are in business okay and if you want to get a workbook a sample of a workbook on coaching um for coaching in business just um message me and i'll send you a workbook a sample workbook um coaching for business i have that i'm a business person i'm also a business consultant so i know what i'm saying so if just in case you are one person who wanted to understand what to do with your business to declutter some things in your business send me a message okay um please don't send a message in the comment okay send me a personal message and you know if you can give me your email address better so i can send it to you but if you can just pm me send me a private message i'm gonna send you a sample of the, a workbook that you can start working on to improve your business all right 
Next, audio training materials. Who among you here is challenged, okay? Challenged to write, but can speak. Coach Ed, right? Yeah. Okay, now, I said audio material, audio training, and Coach Ed said podcast. Now, here's the thing. It's easy actually to get into podcast, but to some people, pag narinig mo kasi yung podcast, ah, podcast! There's a lot of big names in the podcast and you don't want to do it. Okay, that's not what I'm saying. Alright? As simple as, get a recorder. I'm true to this. Get a recorder, okay? When you're driving, I, I did it to one of my clients, okay? One of our coaches here, okay? You're driving, you can do it on audio, you can do it video. Record your thoughts. Record your self-talk. Many people like that. Okay? And later on, okay? Later on, if you want to turn that into the book, okay, you can send it to Fever and have somebody translate it. They can translate it like $1 per minute. So you can turn it into a book if you want later on in life. Get an editor, get somebody to edit your work, and then you can publish the book. Okay? But what I'm saying, get your thoughts out there. So, if writing is a challenge, and what you can do, do immediately is audio. Okay, why audio? Because my next, my, my next product is video, okay? Audio, video. Some people are not comfortable with screen, with camera. Okay, Coach, okay. Coach Joy said, I'm a fan of workbooks, teacher by heart, and I'm looking forward to, to creating this in the future. Coach Karen, there's a lot of people who connect and respond easily to workbooks. Yeah. Our toolkit is similar to workbooks. So you can compile it and you can create a, a workbook. Uh, that's the reason why I'm creating a lot of toolkits because eventually I can put it all together and publish. Oh, by the way, you don't have to penalize yourself, okay, to say, I have to finish 50 in one sitting. Don't do that. You can have one toolkit, one work, work, you know, worksheet, maybe in a month, maybe in a week, just progress and circulate it. Now, you can productize your coaching services through video and audio training. The difference is, if you're not comfortable facing a camera like this, lalo na kung wala kang kausap at walang sumasagot, um, then do an audio. Do an audio. Whether you're comfort and, and when you're comfortable, start doing the video. Okay. Okay. What if, okay, let me just read this. What if you feel that the ebook work, bookmarking you plan uh, on creating very much that resembles everything available in the market? I see a lot of people just copy in some way and fail to credit even how one can stand out with a truly authentic material. Um, that's exactly my point, Coach um, Christina. The thing here, it's not how you productize it, but how you identify your true market. The, way, the reason why you're copying what is available in the market is because you have not really found that market in your heart that you believe no one else is serving. Now, think about it. If you will just copy what is available in the market, chances they are already being served by another market. Right? So, find... I think the, 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 the limitations would always be, the challenge would always be this. <coughs> May bibili ba ng product ko? Will, will somebody read my book? Will somebody really attend to my worksheets? Go back. Close your eyes. Look at your three top skills, Coach Christina. Look at, just paint a picture of one person, just one person who would read, who would appreciate, who would be needing that materials from you and create it for that person I believe in my heart that person will find your materials and I, I got another point from coach Christina if you're getting a materials from the internet oh please do some give them some credits please okay give honor to whom honor is due now another thing that many of you might heard uh, being done in productizing your coaching business is online membership platform okay narinig na ba yon so you get a you get you pay an on um, you create a membership okay 
either website, we have a website that people sign up and they pay you monthly, or you can do it also in Facebook. There are already a close uh, group in Facebook that you need to pay monthly so to get into that. Now, the challenge there is you can productize, okay, through online membership platform, okay, if, okay, if, okay, your market is ready to consume electronic products. Okay? Electronic products is not for everyone. Many people believe that if you are online, if you are gadget user, if you are with Facebook account, you are a person who would respond to online materials. No, that's not true. Alright? No, that's not true. People go to Facebook to find out what their friends are doing, their relatives are up into it, but they're not there to learn. So not everyone who's in Facebook, not everyone who's in the social media platforms are, okay, capable of learning online or through electronic copy materials, okay? So the thing with membership site is you should be able to deliver electronic products. You should be able to talk. You should be able to deliver your message using really your voice and your writing skills. If there's none, and you will just get materials from the internet, and you will just get guest speakers to be in your membership site, I tell you, you, sooner or later, your members will just go to another site. Okay. Hear me out on this. Picture a site, okay, where you have a hundred speaker, and you are selling the one hundred speaker, and not yourself. Okay. Sure. Maybe at the beginning you get money, but at the end of the day, your client will start connecting with the speakers, with the trainers, with the teachers that they can connect and they can learn more and they will leave your membership sites. Are you getting my point? Okay? So it's like, how many of you here loves buffet? Buffet. Okay. It's really great, right? You get to the buffet and you can eat everything. But let me ask you, when you really want to feel comforted, when you really feel, you, you, you want that feeling of being treated and pampered and feeling the VIP, would you go to the buffet or would you go to fine dining? Same. People will go to pick everything at the beginning, but when they level up in life, they will go to where the guru is. They will direct themselves, okay, to the people whom they can learn without destruction and without interruptions. Okay? Next, another way that you can productize your coaching practice is doing group coaching. Group coaching. What is group coaching? The dynamics of group coaching is this, okay? You spend the same time, but there will be at least three to five people whom you are talking to. The difference with group coaching is that you are not able to give individual attention and some people will not be comfortable to share their own stories, their own struggles, and hence, okay, hence, the, it will defeat the purpose of coaching. But here's my tip to you, okay? If you start, if you have a group of people under group coaching, be sure that once, like in between, you have a moment that you will only talk to the person privately. Or maybe you can allocate one time, okay, one, once a week, okay, that you can do video call, that you can do phone call, all right? That that person will still have the private portions of the conversations with you. So you can have five people sitting together, okay? The benefit of that is that they share the cost, okay? And then have a session on screen, by phone, virtual, okay? That they can have a moment with you. 
That's the way you do your coaching. Now, some coaches, um, me, for one, I can do group coaching as big as 30 to 50, okay? The dynamics there is, remember, many people would say, I'm doing group coaching, when in fact, what they're doing is seminar. What they're doing is talk, okay? Group coaching or coaching is very much distinct with motivational speaking, very much distinct with seminar in this way. In motivational speaking, the focus is the speaker. How good is the speaker? The experiences of the speaker? What happened to the speaker? And at the end of the session, you as a viewer, the viewer would have the feeling, I want to be the speaker. All right? So if that is your feeling after attending a talk, after attending a session, then you attended a motivational talk, not a coaching talk. Okay? How do you know it's coaching? It's a coaching talk if, okay, at the end of the talk, you see yourself. Things that you want to change, things that you want to improve, things that you want to transition, or you've got this aha moment. Ah, that's it. All right? And, and it doesn't end it. I will do this. Okay? At the end of the session, there is like the take off that I want to do something. Then that's coaching. Now, group coaching, okay, that's a coaching talk. Now, what is group coaching? Group coaching is there is an actual worksheets, there are actual tools, okay, in between the sessions, and there is actual processing. That at the end of the session, there is something that really happens to the client. So, an experience pa rin niya talaga na ma-coach. Okay? Another way that you can productize your, your, your coaching service is this. Done for you services. Uh, meron na ba kayong ganon? Done for you services. Okay? Done for you services is you're so good at, for example, if you are an event planner, okay, you're an event planner, okay, uh, Coach Joy, okay, you may want to, to check on this. If you're an event planner, you can do a done-for-you service. Like, for example, use a worksheet, questionnaire, and then through that, you will be able to identify through the choices exactly what the client wants. And then at the end of that, you can offer a service that, okay, I'll make it happen and deliver it to you, okay? But, okay, this is not the typical done and then deliver, okay? This is done for you service, meaning there's still the process of, you know, checking, asking, and really creating it out of the person's needs and demands, all right? Now, there's also such a thing as, as, okay, as the expert calls. Meron pong ganon. Expert calls, okay. As the ex expert calls is a kind of, I have a few of that, okay, very few, okay. Is that you advertise, okay, or you promote, or you let the people, very few people knows that I am really good at this, okay. So I have a client who's so good at creating taglines, Taglines. So as simple as, okay, somebody can just call you, okay, and tell you, okay, now because you are a coach, no, you can now identify what are the necessities and all. That's the coaching process you can practically do. And then at the end of that, the person will just ask you, so what do you think as an expert? Meaning, everything else is there, written, trimmed down, and at the end of the day, the client will just pay what the expert said. You got a point? So, you, ginawa mo lahat ng coaching, okay? But that's not what you're being paid for, okay? What you're being paid for is as the expert. So, all of this, dun, 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 and then dulo. What does the expert say? Remember, not you advising the person. That's not what we do. But you saying, as an expert, this is my thoughts. It's just like being interviewed. It's just like being in TV. It's just like being in the, you know, you're getting it, Pastor Alan. It's just like at the end, you say, maybe, Pastor said, ganon. Ah? So, gagawan ko si Pastor ng project. Pastor, pag gagawan ka ng coaching program, ganon. Pastor said, ah, pwede. 
Pwede, di ba? Parang doctor said, or ask the doctor, eto ask the pastor. Hindi <laughs> ko, ha? Di ba pwede? Okay. Some people also productize their services through Facebook groups, LinkedIn groups, conferences, okay, speeches and keynotes um, programs, okay, but, okay, really, you want to really fly this? Work on licensing, training programs, and certification programs. Yes. Ipag yes talaga. Licensing. Create a product. Remember, we had talked earlier, experience, you have experience, you have your skills of knowledge, training, all right, and you have all the assets, the emotional assets, the mental assets, and everything in there, and you can practically put it together, okay, and license that particular product, okay? I have one, actually, I have one that I'm still perfecting. I have, I have my passion to profit. That one is my signature program. And that one helps entrepreneur, okay, that helps employees to become entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs to finally be awakened from their deep slip why, they, why their businesses are not making well. There's a lot of ser serial entrepreneurs out there that until their deathbeds, they still cannot find the business they want. I want to challenge you. Many of you go through businesses not because you are just, you know, diversifying, expanding. Many of you are going through different business because truth of the matter, you cannot find in your heart what business you really want to do. All right? And my passion to profit course actually does that exactly. All right? Next, okay? The challenge in productizing your skills, your experience, and your assets, okay, will always boil down to your market and how you create the messaging that your market can hear you, okay? So you have your market, you have your products, and you have the message. Now, many of you at this point in time is so confused. Who is my market? What is the product I will deliver? Okay, and what, I, what is the message I am sending? You want a market that is you who is youth, all right? But your product is not for youth, and the youth cannot appreciate. And the message that you are communicating is for adults. Okay? Look at your Facebook. Look at your Twitter. Look at your social media accounts. If you are a next-gen coach, if you are a financial or a wealth coach or a health coach, wellness coach, can your viewers, can your market see that in you? I'm a marketing practitioner and what I believe, marketing is so easy if you are true to your product. Especially if you are marketing yourself, it's so easy because you're marketing who you are. You know what's the challenge here? You can market yourself all you want. You can make people believe all you want. You can get all the booking you want. But my question to you, do you get, will you get a repeat booking? Because if there is nothing inside of you, you don't really know your market, and you are offering a service that is not match with your market, then you will not be able to communicate it clearly and definitely the market will not get the product because the message will always be stuck somewhere else. No amount of marketing, no amount of advertising can replace training and practice. But there's nothing to practice if there's no foundation to what you are about to practice. Yes, you have this. Yes, you have this. But nothing beats your practice. You cannot practice. You don't practice. It's just like reading a book in swimming and say, I'm ready to swim. Trust me, you're gonna die. Same in coaching. Same in coaching. You can create the best website. You can promote all you want. You can be the next sensations in social media. But in your heart, you don't know 
the market, you don't know your product, definitely you're not communicating it. And at the end of the day, again, let me tell you, serving anyone and everyone is detrimental. It's like kissing death. No one enters the profession who wants to kiss death. I believe all of us wants to try by helping people. We want to monetize what we do because as we monetize what we do, we become stable and our profession is bring sustainability to us and eventually we can say this profession helps not only other people definitely it should help you first you cannot give what you do not have short of saying okay if you are promoting yourself as a wellness coach be sure that it's it shows that you are well if you are promoting yourself as a well coach a wealthy coach, a financial coach, be sure that your budgets and your finances are in order. If you are promoting yourself as marriage coach, be sure that you have your spouse beside you and your wife, your spouse is, is having you beside him as well. Right? Of course, it is not mandatory that we live a perfect life. But what I'm saying, be the product whom you want to be sold. And that product, supposed to be the truth. Not the make-believe, not the marketing result, not the advertising guru tells you, but exactly who you are. Trust me, you've got three things, and that three things, okay, would have raving fans out there in the market if only you can productize it and you can communicate it very well. This is Coach A. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. I'll be back on Monday. And on Monday, I'm going to help you start doing your Facebook Live, Facebook Talk, so you can start communicating with your market. Good afternoon. Thank you.